Hey, this is Angelo, owner of Appeal, unfairpropertytax.com, where you never pay a percentage to fight your Cook County property taxes. And if you're paying a percentage this year and live in Chicago, you are gonna get slaughtered. This is going to be my most forward, most direct, most look you in the eye, no BS warning if you have a Chicago house. You need to get away from all distractions, kids crying, um, yelling, teenagers fighting. Get to your quiet place, go out on the porch, bring the laptop, bring this video, put on your headphones, and bring a notebook. We're gonna show you how to find your new crazy property tax value. In Chicago in 2021, all the old property tax values get wiped out and they slap all Chicago homes with a new one. Two areas have already gotten it, Rogers Park and West Township, which is North Avenue Wicker Park. And what we're seeing is appalling, it's disgusting, it's heart-wrenching, it's shameful. 60 to 85% increases for most, and every day we get 10 to 15 calls that went well over 100%. They're asking us, was this a typo? Was this like a glitch? Did they, did they hit an extra zero by accident? Uh, it's not. When I saw my first one at 175%, I thought it was a glitch. In two pin numbers down, two doors down, I saw another one, 177%. Crazy. So um, this is the short version. This is going to be over real quick. I'm just going to show you how to get on the assessor's site, find your crazy new value, see the older one, you subtract it, you get the difference, you bring that number to our website, and we have a little increase calculator, and it's going to calculate it into tax dollars for you, okay? Um, then there's going to be a link to a much more serious video. It is my longest YouTube video ever. I posted it two days ago. It is 53 minutes long. Now, if you think, oh my God, how could this guy talk for an hour about property taxes? It is that damn important, okay? If you got a lot of money, endless resources, don't worry about it. But if you like the, the, the average living guy, you know, next door, he's been doing a good job, you're proud of him, he might have to go if you don't warn him about this. You're gonna feel bad when the U-Haul truck pulls up and he bails. Um, here we go, cookcountyassessor.com. Um, they do mail out a reassessment notice. Most homeowners don't see it. It goes to your mortgage and they toss it. They don't care. They just gonna skyrocket your mortgage in a year, you know? And again, some banks are sharp and they're doing it now. So um, Cook County Assessor, not to undermine you. A lot of people spell assessor wrong. There's a reason I know that. It's A-S-S-E-S-S-O-R, okay? If you type E-R, you're gonna end up on our website because we bought that domain and the traffic is being forwarded. And that's how I know a lot of people misspell it. Um, when you get to cookcountyassessor.com, it's gonna look like this. Um, you're gonna see me point the wrong way. I'm sorry about my hands, but my camera's reversed and it keeps like screwing up my brain. Now, when you're there, you're gonna put your mouse on appeals, click that. The first choice, appeals and calendar deadlines. Here's where you're gonna figure out what townships have been hit, They've got dates next to them. There you go. Rogers Park got hit on June 15th. The deadline to appeal was July 19th. If you missed it, don't freak out. There's another agency coming, the Board of Review, in about four to six months. They are your last hope for 2021 in the crazy increases, okay? The Board of Review was put in place about 87 years ago, and they have the authority to overrule the assessor. So if the, board says, if the assessor says no, the board can say yes. If the assessor gave you 10%, the board can say not good enough, 20% more. Our customers, within one week of your 30-day window, you get a neat little email that says action required 2021 appeal package and there's an evidence of file attached. That evidence file is built by a quarter million dollar database we made almost 10 years ago. We spent three and a half years designing it. Um, we spend 15 to 20 grand a year maintaining it. And it goes and finds you the best comparable properties it can find. Um, with that are warranting the, the maximum possible reduction in a matter of seconds. It's the tool that let us convert to our low flat fee. Um, you've got three weeks to see it and do it. Now, two years ago, it used to be only about eight or nine clicks, and we've got a screenshot for everywhere you click to upload the file. It was eight or nine clicks at both agencies. Last year, we got a lot of complaints at the first agency, the assessor, the one open now. Um, West Township got it on July 21st. They are open now until August 23rd. You got a little over a week. The sooner the better, the closer you get to the deadline. It's our opinion they go faster just to get through it and the results become less favorable. And you know, they go, to go faster, they just say no to more people. So you wanna get in sooner than later. Um, anyways, our customers get that appeal package in the first week, they've got three weeks to see it and do it. When you get in, it takes 60 to 90 days to get a decision and you will see that um, once it gets 
a letter in your hand, win or lose, hundreds will win, hundreds will lose. They all become public record and they have to certify the A rule, the assessment rule. They have to make them all public record under freedom of information laws. On this day, our competition is dropping the ball. They love to help you the first year and they forget you for three years. This was fine when property tax, or I'm sorry, when property values always went up. Now it's a much different ball game. A lot of homes are going down. Someone's always moving in with a super low purchase price, a super low appraisal. When they try to refinance, they can't get refinancing because it's, it's tanked too much. Um, so when you get a decision letter in your hands, remember, oh, Angelo said hundreds of other homes also got this letter and they're all public record. Now our database runs through all active accounts and goes, looks for the best homes it can find now. The average comparable value goes down and the potential, the dollars that you're overtaxed by, the, the potential goes up. So then it gets those homes ready for the next agency, the border review. There you have to upload it. Um, that website's still only eight or nine clicks. They let you do it as a guest. Hopefully that won't change this year. We won't know until we see the first batch. But um, one customer told me his eight-year-old has been doing it for like a year and a half. So I was pretty proud of it. That's how easy our packages are to follow. Um, moving right along. Um, like I said, Jefferson is next. All homes western to Cumberland. Huge. All the way out to the airport. Devon to North Avenue from memory. Um, Lakeview is the other side western all the way to the lakefront. Um, it's smaller on the map, but there's actually more pin numbers. The, the homes get tighter together and there's more, more pin numbers. Hyde Park looks like it'll be last. TBD means to be determined. Now, if you're in Hyde Park, you say, okay, this guy showed me how to watch the dates. I'll come back here. I'll watch for my date and then I'll go check my higher value. 2020 gets moved over and 2021 falls in. If you come back to this date list in a little over 30 days, Tomorrow, they can move Hyde Park up above Jefferson and open it tomorrow. The date is subject to change. Last year, they changed 35 of 38 townships, and that happens all the time. People miss their appeal window, you know, so they can and do move these around. The other 38, the rest of the 38 townships are down here. Some have closed, some are still open. Our customers got their packages or are getting their packages now. Some people say, hey, I'm in Niles. I haven't heard anything. When's Niles going to open? Please, if you're a current customer, refrain from these calls and emails. You're paying us to watch it for you so you can have peace of mind. It's our job to alert you when it opens and to arm you with everything you need to fight it. Um, so as long as you keep your account active, time on your account, you're gonna be fine. You can ask, you know, hey, how much time is on my account? We don't mind that because we don't want you to gap, okay? So here we go real quick. Let me give you what I promised I would give you. Um, we're gonna show you how to find your house. And here you go, right here, search. Click the first choice, search by address. In the first box, you only put the number, no street name. It won't let you type letters. Do not worry about the direction, north or south, because if they didn't put it in when they entered your house, it won't come up. Or they might have spelled north, N-O-R-T-H, and it won't come up. If there's a north and south, just enter it that way. They'll both pop up on the next screen, and you can choose the correct one. I'm going to put Foster in here. Um, our office is at 3447 Foster. It's been collecting dust for 12 months now um, due to COVID. Um, I have eight years of healthcare experience and um, I just don't feel comfortable opening it yet, especially with this new variant. Um, I'm not gonna get into the politics on that, but um, uh, two years ago, we had a customer come in and give us all pneumonia and it closed our office for two weeks. So um, we have a little sign on the door since then. Um, if you are sick, please do not come in. Everything's public record. We can do everything online over the phone. Um, put in the city, click search, I'm not a robot. And here, your house will pop up, boom, it'll look like this. Now here, you will see your township, right here, if you don't know your township, Jefferson. Again, this one has not been hit, so it's not gonna see these crazy, crazy values I told you about. I'll show you, right here's the assessed value. But the good news, everybody from Jefferson down can see the COVID relief in 2020, because it's right next to 2019. Uh, 2019, 373 tax value, 2020, 340, came down 30,000 in value. That should lower the taxes. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Here's why. The values only show in July on the yellow bill. The March bill, six months earlier, is blue. And there's only one calculation on that, 55% of the year before, both yellow and blue added together. So there was supposed to be this bill with the lower value, 340, out on July 1st. It was delayed. It popped up online today, Friday the 13th. Happy the Friday 13th. You can go see your new tax bill at cookcountytreasurer.com. Um, but 
this should lower taxes. And some people, they might get a letter from their bank if their bank is opening it in the next couple of days. Hey, the tax value went down, your taxes went down. Um, here's a little reduction in your mortgage. That's a yellow bill. Add it to the blue bill six months ago. 55% will be next March. Six months, you know, in, in spring, hey, having a good time, loving, loving the spring fresh air. Six months after that is the July bill. That is the first bill that will show these crazy increases. And let me show you what some of them look like. Now we're going to go look at a West Township home. This is da, 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 um, a Superior Street. I went up and down the neighborhood over here. And um, basically, uh, da, 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 let's see if I can get this to refresh, refresh, refresh. Let's see. Okay, this is great. What's wrong with this? Let me go forward. <laughs> Huh. That is really interesting. Oh, I'm not a robot, really? Okay. Great. Okay. Search. I've done this a couple times. Maybe. Okay, here we go. Um, 2649 Superior Street. What you'll notice when you're on your house, this is West Township. This one has been hit with the ugly stick. And it's going to show the crazy new value. Here you go. Now 2019 is gone. 2020 got pushed over. And um, 478 in 2020 was raised to 680,000 just a couple weeks ago. 200,000 value increase. Did real value go up on this little house? 200 grand? Um, little you know work truck out front with the ladder on top? Can he afford that? Um, the details on the house, characteristics. Click on that. I want to show you some things here. This is a class 203. It's the second smallest class there is. There's 15 classes. There's only one smaller than him, a 202, which is 0 to 999 square feet. He's the next one up, 1,000 to 1,800. This is one of the most common sizes in all of Cook County, in all of Chicago. Uh, the next one is the apartment building, two to six units. And I'm going to show you one of those also. This house is 140 years old. His square footage is 1,569. And this is the number one trick in Cook County, unfinished basement. Basements are never included in square footage. A lot of homeowners see this and they think, oh, they don't know about my basement, my man cave, my theater room. I know it's not in this square footage. I don't want to appeal. Someone's going to come out here, come inside and see my basement and add a thousand feet. No, they will not. Basements are always free, even if you finish or furnish them. Okay. Um, it's just the wool pulled over the taxpayer's eyes. And, um, that's crazy. Now we're going to go up one pin number. We're going to go to 006. Okay. I w um, up in the address bar, again, you can see the, um, your property index number. You can just change it up or down a digit. You got to leave the four zeros on the end. This house, very similar, right next door. Um, characteristics. 140 years old. A little more square footage. Not bad. Not barely 100 feet. No basement. Look at what they did to this one's assessed value. 457 to 700,000. Insane. Okay. That's crazy. 240,000, 40,000 more than the immediate neighbor and no basement. So how is that fair? Um, built the same year, probably the same builder. Um, last pin number I'm going to show you. I'm only showing you three on this one. After this video, the link to the much longer video, 53 minutes long, I go up and down 15 pin numbers right next to each other. And um, we see a couple of these 203s in that video. I'm not trying to do a spoiler, but one of the 203s went up 60,000 and a few doors down, it went up 300,000. Um, also in that 15 digit range, we got two, two homes that went over 150,000, I'm sorry, 150% increases. It's just sickening. Um, uh, here we go. The last house I want to show you, I'm going to show you an apartment building. Uh, let's see. Sure. I am. Let me see where I put it. Okay. Um, I went up a couple digits to 008. I'm just going to change it up in the navigation there. Here it is, a 211. The good thing about this class is there's no square footage range. It can be compared against a very small two flat or a three story mammoth. As long as the taxes are lower per foot, and our database does that on the research sheets, it calculates per foot, which is really the case reviewer's homework. It's doing it for them. Um, this house, it's three years newer, it's only 137 years old. Just a couple doors down, it's got almost 500 feet more. And look at what they did here on his assessed value. 399 to 560. This home only went up 160,000 and this is an apartment building. 
it has two apartments. You can see it under characteristics. So the, the working stiff with the ladder on his truck, two doors down, is going up 200 and 240,000. That's totally unfair if you ask me. It doesn't make sense. So these are the reasons you need to be fighting. Um, my mom would say you can bring the horse to water. You cannot make it drink. Here I go bringing you guys to water. This is our YouTube channel. We chop prop taxes. Join it whether you're a customer or not. Please subscribe. We chop prop taxes, one word. What I don't like about YouTube is it shows the six most recent videos, but if you click on the videos tab right under our name, you are gonna get a treasure trove, a uh, gold mine of stuff here. Um, you're gonna see a lot of happy customers here. Um, a lady on the far right, um, Filipino lady, got a $5,000 check uh, in refunds. Um, we don't take anything of reductions and we don't take any percentage of refunds. It's all yours and why not? It's your money. Um, right next to that is 116% from Lakeview. Three years ago, was walking the neighborhood. Um, uh, just a couple over from me right there. Um, I was walking out of my chiropractor and two guys in a bar uh, out on the sidewalk saw my shirt. Hey, you're the property tax guy. Yeah, yeah, did you guys enroll? Oh, not yet, but we, we saw your video. We know the deadline's in a couple days. They brought me in, they bought me a couple beers and they signed up right there at the bar. Um, the top video um, is that crazy increase. That's the 53 minute video. And let me show you one more place where you can see it a little clearer. This is your invite to join our Cook County property tax watchdogs and pissed off taxpayers. This is our private group. And this is something I had to do because I've been invited to join a lot of groups by admins to say, please do tell our groups when there's an appeal window, please tell us when there's a deadline. And I did and attorneys flag it. And when two or more flag it, Facebook removes it thinking it's something bad, whether it is or not. And then they throw me in Facebook jail where you cannot post any comments on any groups for three to seven days. So I did my research. They told me I create a private group. I can say and do whatever I want and nobody can shut me up. There's a disadvantage to a private group on Facebook. Um, you cannot share posts. Here is my most recent post. This is that video, the 53 minute video. Look at the thumbnail. 508,000 going to 1,410,000. That is almost triple the value. So um, this was 170 something percent and two or three pin numbers down, I found another one. It's not a glitch, it's real, okay? Um, scroll down a little more, that's the video they all love. Dirty little secrets of your property tax lawyer. You can find it on our YouTube page also. Um, so like mom said, do nothing, get nothing. Bring the horse to water, you can't make it drink. I have now brought you to the water. What you do next is entirely up to you. Um, please do hit our website. You'll see our happy clients page, video testimonials. Um, a lot of customers here who are happy, love the service. That's the lady who saved, uh, saved five grand. This lady talks about a bow and arrow and uses some profanity. Um, <laughs> uh, warning, a lot of customers, some that you know, bring, bring a different friend every time they come into the office. Um, I do miss the office. We will open it in the future, just not right now. 99% of our business comes through our website. So um, love to have it. There is a free evaluation. When you click this little white button, it'll jump down to the bottom. There's all of our happy customers, all their thank you letters, um, how it works plus our guarantee. There's my business card, far right. I think you're gonna like the title, property tax <clears throat> kicker, <laughs> okay? Uh, the free evaluation form at the bottom. We are backed up a few days on this, but here's a quick little tip. See the phone number, top right? You can text us, we can get texted. We, we're not a sweatshop, working out of the garage. It's a business line, we can receive text. Hey, please research 2020 Roscoe, Chicago. Make sure you put the city name, okay? <laughs> and we'll get back to you. You're gonna, you'll jump a little bit of the backed up phone and email. Um, that's a little, a little insider tip. I do watch numbers and I'm gonna watch the number of views on this video. I am forwarding it to all of my Chicago customers and asking that they share it with every Chicago homeowner they know. This is the short version. We nailed it in less than 20 minutes. Thank you. Again, if you really, really care, um, that other video gets a lot more in depth and it's very, very informative. And if you wanna keep your house, go do it. You're spending 53 minutes to save your house. That's what this is about. You know, otherwise, like I said, you're, 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 a lot of you are going to have to walk and I get it. And I'm sorry, sorry that they're doing that to you. Last, call your mother, tell her you love her. <laughs> uh, I'll be praying for you guys. I'm sure my mom's, you know, up there praying too, because we need our customers and I don't want to see you guys lose it. Take care.
Enjoy the rest of your day.